What are the key, te key takeaways from Modi's recent meet with the Saudi Arabian Prince at G20? How does this help enhance our strategic partnership in the region? I do not attach any special significance to our Prime Minister's meeting with Prince Mohammed, uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman at the G20. Uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman had attended the G20 event because of the great concerns that the international community has with regard to his role in the gruesome murder of the Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. And hence he was very anxious to get a certain international exposure and to meet certain prominent leaders uh, at the G20 event. So the G20 event was not about the meeting between Mr. Modi and the Prince. G20 has a much larger canvas of global concern. And there is a feeling that possibly G20 did not fulfill the concerns that the international community has with regard to the global economic order. With regard to the relations with Saudi Arabia, Prime Minister had built, uh, when he visited the kingdom uh, in, 2017, in 2016, he had built on what we had already achieved during the visit of Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh. We had put in place uh, an agenda for a strategic partnership on the basis of the Riyadh Declaration. Uh, I would say that Prime Minister had built upon that. And today we have very robust cooperation in the area of intelligence, of security, defense, uh, economic cooperation, investments, etc. So we have a very solid relationship. Uh, as far as counter-terrorism is concerned, I would say that we have never had such close ties as we have today. These ties are based on mutual interest and mutual benefit. And that is happening at the moment. Saudi Arabia is now looking for opportunities to invest in India. And we are looking at the Ratnagiri in refinery, though it is having some difficulties. The problem with regard to a bilateral relationship with the kingdom is that the region itself is in great turmoil. And this is where I would suggest that India should now take an initiative. That India should be able to work with the principal, uh, with the principal leaders of the region to see how we can get them engaged with each other. That is the crucial challenge for India. Our Prime Minister visited the UAE, Qatar, Iran, as well as Saudi Arabia, and he went to Israel as well. This would be a valuable interaction if we are able to build on these, uh, that we are able to build on these relationships and see how we can promote peace and stability in the region. As I said in my, in my presentation, no one else seems to be doing anything useful. And I believe that India is extremely well positioned in this regard and it would serve India's interests as well.